seems to have come out of nowhere, taking the running community by surprise. It's funny because I've been running for, you know, 17 years. Here in Denver, runner Brittany Charbonneau is known for winning her first big race, the 2017 Colfax Marathon. It was the first marathon that I had done a lot of the mental training beforehand, but I started to believe that I could do big things in running and get faster. And so um, I just kind of went in with no fear and just had a goal in mind and chased it. She's been taking home wins ever since. In 2017, she won the Kansas City Marathon, the Disney Princess in 2018, and she's making big strides since her days in college. When I was running at CSU, I was so terrified every single time I stepped up to that line, knowing that I was going to get beat and knowing that I wasn't on that level or I thought that I wasn't on the level as the other girls that were out running. And as I've gotten older and gone through the different races and things like that, I really started to overcome that fear and realized that it's not something that's valid. And I've learned how to just take that fear and turn it into motivation and excitement. That motivation helped her place second as the USA female in the LA Marathon. It was just so cool because I was racing with all of these women that I really never thought I would be up there with. Um, and I just had accomplished what I set out to do. And that was just, it just meant so much to me because I had put in that hard work every single day, but I knew what my goal was every single day. She never imagined herself a professional runner. I said it before, but it was kind of one of those, like, I'm a pro runner, kind of. Um, and now I kind of own it because I'm like, yeah, I put in the work and I'm at that level. Staying at the professional level requires hitting the trail daily. Usually 60 to 90 miles a week. While running, she keeps herself entertained, scouting for change. It's so funny and I'm like a hawk. I don't know why or how I see all this money on the ground, but um, so a lot of times for me, I'm just thinking about looking for pennies. But lucky pennies only go so far. A big piece of my training is my mental training. So I have to work a lot on getting through how I'm gonna prep for my workouts and then reflecting on them after, what I'm gonna change for my next workouts or what goals I'm working on. Her self-talk takes her through her six to eight mile tempo runs at a hard pace. I think any time that I'm having doubts or things like that or this is really hard, I just tell myself I'm capable. Not just capable, but at nearly 30 years old, Brittany's just hitting her stride. The beauty with the marathon is that you almost get better with age. So my running idol is Shalane Flanagan and she just won the New York Marathon at 36. So for me, that was also kind of a glimmer of hope in my training knowing that I'm far away from my peak. Far from her peak, she never thought she'd come this far and she hopes her running inspires others. Now I've shifted to an elite level with running. That's really one of my big whys as to why I run and why I push so hard and why I'm trying to achieve these big goals is because if I can show them that I can do it, then I certainly hope that they can do it, not just in running or whatever their dreams are. I really, really hope that that they know with that work and with that persistence and consistency, who knows what you can do. Looks like Brittany's path will lead her to her big dream. She surpassed the Olympic Trials Marathon A standard qualification by nearly two minutes with a time of two hours, 36 minutes, 25 seconds. For me, it's just exciting because it's the next challenge and it's I have no idea what my limits are and that's what I'm here to try to find out. A 2020 Olympic hopeful, she'll compete with confidence. For Running Denver TV, I'm Michelle Medina.